I uh, have to admit, I don't spend much time looking in the mirror, so when I see myself on video, I, it reminds me I need to, my, I, my, I'm really hairy. <laughs> so the next time you see me, I might have shorter hair. Um, anyway, so this is episode two. Uh, I thought today I'd talk about, uh, about my childhood and about, I mean, when I was a child, I mean, a young child, I didn't really, didn't really think that I was gay. Um, it wasn't until later, you know, maybe high school or so, um, that I suspected. But as a child, I think there were signs. I, uh, I, I actually did only prefer the company of other boys. I, I didn't like being around girls, and apparently that's, that's actually backward for most, most gay boys usually prefer to play with girls when they're young. Um, I... I didn't, but I also, I didn't understand the other boys seemed to, um, they talked about girls having cooties and said they were um, weird and things like that. And I didn't understand. I, I mean, I didn't have feelings for girls either way. I didn't think they were weird. I didn't think they had cooties and I didn't, I mean, I didn't try to avoid them and I didn't try to hang around them either. But I did like boys. I liked hanging around boys. I liked playing with them and spending time with them. Um, I, as a child, I also I also showed interest in um, well, I showed interest in both both of my parents. Uh, whenever my dad was working on the car, I'd be out asking him what he was doing and you know helping him work on the car. Whenever my mom was crocheting, I would you know I'd watch her crochet and ask her how she did it and. She taught me how to crochet, and, and I learned, and, uh, and later on I had an aunt that, uh, that also taught me, you know, she showed me how to read patterns and stuff like that, and, and uh, she helped me make my first um, afghan, and as a matter of fact, I actually have an afghan right, right here that I made, this is one I actually made for, for Karen, for my wife, when, uh, before we were married, when we were dating, I, I gave it to her as a Christmas gift, and, uh, I, I, I showed interest in that, and and despite my um, brothers teasing me about being gay because I, I liked crochet, my my mom supported me in it, and she said, you know, anything that you're interested in, you know, any hobby, you know, that's that's okay, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. And uh, of course, at the time when I was that young, I I resented. I, first of all, I didn't understand really what gay meant, but I mean, I resented being called gay because that, that was a bad thing, especially in our church. And so, you know, I didn't. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not gay. Don't don't call me that. You know, blah blah blah. When the whole time I was, <laughs> which is funny, but uh, yeah, but I showed I showed interest in um, uh, crocheting. I believe I'm the only person in my family that's taken classes in a ballroom dance. I, I took several, well, maybe two or three classes in ballroom dance at BYU when I was there. Um, very grateful for, for BYU having a dance program that's so extensive. Uh, and it was always easy to get in because I was a boy, and girls always wanted to take dance class, and they need to have exactly as many boys as girls because, you know, it's ballroom dance. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I showed interest in things that were probably out of character for a boy to be interested in, but, uh, never really, never really thought of that as an indication that, um, that I was gay. Uh, I, I did notice though in, in high school, I think, I, um, started noticing that I was having feelings for boys and that perhaps they weren't feeling the same thing that I was feeling. I, you know, I, I just thought, I just thought that's how friends felt for each other. I thought these feelings I was having for these boys, um, I thought it meant that I wanted to be friends with them. It meant that I admired them and appreciated them for being the amazing people they were never dawned on me that I didn't have similar feelings for girls. Uh, there were girls that I was friends with and, and we were, um, you know, we enjoyed each other's company, but I never had these feelings for them that I had for boys. Um, never, never really occurred to me that that was 
odd until later. But uh, yeah, I um, I had feelings for guys. I would dare say that I had a few crushes in high school, but I didn't recognize them as crushes while I was in high school. I just thought of them as um, maybe uh, intense feelings of, of uh, wanting to be friends uh, or, or perhaps a spiritual connection because they were very spiritual people as well. You know, they, they were very active Mormons and, and that's what I aspired to be. Um, and the same thing in, in college. I remember at our uh, orientation when I, my first year, my very first semester at BYU, um, the way BYU does orientation is they split you into really small groups of maybe 15 or 20. They're called Y groups, and you have a Y group leader who's a, you know, maybe third or fourth year student that, um, you know, just kind of mentors you and shows you around campus, things like that. And I just remembered um, I, my Y group leader was, he was cute. And, uh, and I just remember looking at him and thinking, oh, he's, he's so spiritual. I want to be just like him. He's such a wonderful guy. And, uh, and of course, never, never really acknowledging the fact that that was, that was a crush. Um, I, I mean, I look back now and it, and it was so obvious. Uh, and it's kind of hard to say exactly when I admitted that I was gay, but I know that it was, I know that it was before my mission, um, because I remember at one point on my mission, there was um, there was a boy that another missionary set was teaching, and he was gay, and I arranged to to go on a companion exchange with one of the missionaries that was teaching him. So it was just the two of us, and and this particular missionary was. Um, was with me in the MTC, so I already knew him, and we were very close. And you know, during the during the time that the day that we spent together, I, you know, I I, I did it just because I wanted to help out um, him in teaching this investigator that he had. Um, and I and I I came out to him. He was the first person ever that I came out to, and I I just told him. Uh, I think that if I had grown up outside of the Mormon faith that, or outside of a faith that taught that homosexuality is bad, that I probably would have taken that route and I would have um, been with a guy. And that I was grateful for the church for teaching me that that was not the way I was supposed to be and that, and that because of the church I had the strength to overcome these uh, temptations that I had. And, and that's really how I felt at the time. I was being sincere and genuine. Um, and he was grateful. He was grateful for the help. I, I don't know if it helped him teach that investigator or not. I, I don't believe that person ever ended up joining the church. Um, but uh, I, I really wish that I could have empathized with him personally at the time instead of... Turns out, <laughs> ironically, my companion at the time the person who was my companion at the time that I did this exchange, uh, he was, he was also gay, <laughs> and so, so he, both of us, he and I, were both gay, and and neither of us knew it uh, about the other one, until a couple of years after we returned home from our missions. That was interesting, but uh, that's you know that's basically my story about how I. Um, I gradually came to know that I was gay, that, uh, you know, just little things along the way that I didn't really pick up on, but now looking back, you know, they're um, at least interesting to note, if not good indicators. Um, I do this, I do this to help, to help parents maybe um, recognize things in their children. All right, or or to help gay people realize that that they're gay, um, you know maybe maybe you can look at look at yourself, look at your feelings, try to understand yourself a little bit better, and uh, and know what some of these things mean. Um, so anyway, that's that's briefly my pre-mission all the way up to my mission story. Um, 
perhaps in another episode I'll, I'll add more. Thanks for tuning in again.